This is the High Density Spalier Gardener and today I'm going to be pruning my avocado trees. On the property that I bought, I have 32 avocado trees that were already here, so I won't be espaliering them. I will be doing that for some other avocados in other areas that I want to place. For now, here is an example of before and then I will show you an example of the after. It's actually quite a large tree. It has grown to probably between 15 to 20 feet. I'm going to be pruning it back to a manageable size. I don't want to have to get on a ladder, or at least not a big ladder, to be able to pick any other fruit. I'm going to go through, prune it down, and prune it back toward the tree because the limbs are growing pretty heavily away from the trunk. One of the things that I prefer not to do, or rather never to do, is to prune the trees when they have fruit on them. It's still early in the season. The flowers are already starting to come out, so there's still time. Okay, the thing that I wanted to show down at the trunk level is that there are a lot of branches that are coming out. Some of them I'm going to leave and some of them I'm going to cut. These that are growing up, I probably will leave. Those that are growing off to the side, I'll be taking out. The point is, I want to be able to see the trunks, have them visible, but the main purpose is to get them away from the ground so that animals don't get the avocados. I don't want to necessarily attract animals to come over to my property. I wanted to explain why it is that all of my avocado trees have new growth coming out of the stumps. As I go through, I'll show several of the trees as examples, but all of them were pruned back to the stumps at about four to five feet high. The reason for that is when I purchased the property, it was put into escrow and the former owners stopped watering the trees. And at the same time, it just so happened that we experienced one of the worst heat waves in California summers and all of the trees looked like they had died. Everything looked like this. The leaves were brown, dried up and shriveled and branches were all dead. I was so mad, but anyway, the only thing that I could think of to save them was to prune them all back to the stumps. This is a process called stumping. And then I watered them hoping that they would and give new shoots and in fact they did. Everything that you see, all of this new growth, is from when I tried to bring the trees back to life and thankfully I was successful. Okay here I just wanted to show you that I've taken the branches away from the bottom. Everything now is about maybe two and a half feet off the ground. Also, I wanted to show when you're pruning the branches, especially off of avocados, because the wood is so light, so thin, wherever you're going to top off, see the branch here? Okay, if this is the point, if this is the top piece of what I want, then I'm going to prune above at least four to five inches. You want to prune it about that distance away from the branches that you want to leave because when it's cut back, it will die a little and you don't want it to die back to where the top branches are, otherwise you'll lose the top branches. Okay, this tree is pretty much cleaned up. I've pruned up the top branches to probably a maximum of 10 feet. I have also pruned some of them back toward the trunk so that they are manageable. At the end of the day, the avocados will be easy to pick, which is what is most important to me. I have so many trees, I'm going to have to give a lot away. This is just too many for us to eat. One thing I want to point out, the people who planted these trees, what they did was kind of a high density planting on this one as well. These trees are about three feet apart and there are two different kinds of avocados. This one is flowering and we got avocados from this last season. This one is either a fuerte or a sultano. 
I haven't gotten avocados from the other one yet, so I'm not sure what kind it is. The former owner said that I have about a dozen varieties on these 32 trees. Anyway, these, as I think I've showed a little earlier, these are flowering. Here, the flowers are everywhere. But this tree has no flowers, nothing. So we'll see what happens. I'll give it another couple of seasons. If it doesn't do anything, I'll take that one out and just leave this one here. This is a really nice producer. It produces beautiful big avocados. Here's a better shot of the flowers coming out. Up on the top, some of them are actually open. One question that I've been asked before, why do I prune my trees back so heavily? That's to encourage new growth for one, but for two, it's to open it up so the sun can reach all of the tree, not just the south side. For avocado trees, there's no rhyme or reason as to which branches you should cut or which branches you should keep. Choose the shape that you want the avocado to be in. You can make it small or you can let it grow really big. It's up to you. I'm going to prune mine back to keep it at a manageable height. It's completely up to you what you do. If this were a commercial avocado farm, I probably wouldn't be pruning anything back, but this is not. It's my garden and all of the trees will be pruned back to between 6 to 10 feet tall. Everything needs to be easy to pick, that's super important to me. Now if you look at the top, you'll see that some of the branches are taller than the others. In the middle, it's probably about two feet lower than the sides. Part of the reason why I did that was to make sure that I left several of the branches, even toward the top, that had a lot of flowers. I can always print it back later to where I really want it, but I won't do that until after I pick the fruit from this season. It's important to remember, you don't have to prune everything down to the ideal level on your first try. Prune your trees, see what happens. If you don't like how it came out, try it again next season. Every season is a new opportunity to make the trees to be what you want them to be. I'll show that same concept when I prune and show what I'm doing with the citrus trees. Last season I pruned them to shape them into trees where basically they looked like big bushes. This year I'm going to go through and do selective pruning. And this year that's basically what I did with the avocados. I'm going to prune the rest of the avocados, but I don't think you want to see 32 trees worth of pruning. This is the first of the smaller trees that I have pruned. You can see on the upper branches where I cut them off. They were probably five to six feet taller than what you can see. I brought them down to about 10 feet. There are a couple of branches that I left a little longer simply because they had too many flowers and I just couldn't bring myself to cut them off. Keep in mind whenever you're pruning trees, first of all, try to put it into the shape that you want. But second of all, you don't really have to prune it all back on the first try. The pruning that I'm doing for all of my trees is literally taking three seasons for me to get them to the point where I want them. All of the avocados going that way, I will prune to about this height. This next one was already at the right height, so I didn't prune a whole lot from it. I just trimmed a few branches, small ones that were, well, that had died, basically. Every time you prune trees, try to make sure you cut off all of the dead wood. There's no reason to leave it on. It's unsightly. It doesn't actually harm the tree if you leave it on, but it just doesn't look good. If you're gonna trim them, you might as well do it right. Okay, so this is the next one that I'm working on. You can see some of these are a good 15 feet tall. So I'll be pruning those back to probably about 10 feet like the others but there are some that I'll leave a little longer. 
Again, I don't want to prune off everything that has flowers. I do want avocados, but they're just too tall. One thing to remember, I'm going to give you an example with this branch here. At the top you can see it has flowers. If it does give avocados, those avocados are going to be heavy and will make the branch droop a little. It will be within range for easy picking even though right now it's up about 10 feet high. It will droop when the avocados are on it and end up at about 8 to 9 feet high which is much easier to pick. Okay, so this one might seem like one really big tree since it's 15 to 20 feet high, but it's actually four trees growing together. This one is a very cool avocado. I have never seen it before. It's a fingerling avocado that is about the size of your thumb. When my mom saw these, she was really happy. My grandpa used to bring these home when she was a little girl and it brought back nice memories for her. The second tree, I stumped it. It has a lot of growth. This tree is the third one. It is a Haas avocado. This is the fourth one. It has multiple limbs growing out of the trunk. Normally for high density planting, you would space the trees one and a half to three feet apart. I'm not sure these qualify since the trunks are about four to six feet apart, but they are growing together as a group. Anyway, I'm going to be pruning this back since it's way too tall. I showed earlier how I pruned this one. I'm going to do the same with this one and the rest next to it down this row. Okay, here is the after. It was 15 to 20 feet high. I pruned it down and now it's 10 to 12 feet high. Now it's approximately the same height as this one that I pruned at the start of the video. I trimmed some of the branches that were coming out a little too far, but if they had a lot of flowers I pretty much left them alone. I did trim a little bit from the fingerling as you can see, but my main objective was to prune the whole thing down. As you go through and prune your trees, have fun with them. Try different things. Find what suits you and your garden space. Keep your trees small or let them grow big. It's completely up to you. This is the High Density Espalier Gardener. If you have any comments or questions, please post them and I will respond as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.